How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. I'm glad you're here today. Uh, so, what's going on today is that the snowblower here, the uh, Toro Power Clear 721E, is ready for a paddle and scraper bar changeout. Now, I'm going to show you the best way and the easiest way that I have found to do it. So, stick around. Let's get this done. All right. So, for tools, you need a half inch wrench. You'll need a 7 16 And I'm going to use, it's a T25 Torx bit head for the, these, uh, screw these bolts here duct tape an 11 millimeter socket your paddles scraper bar it works best if the paddles are uh, they're not super cold so these have been inside the house all day staying warm so it uh, makes it easier to put on so we're going to start by taking this bolt that bolt these two and these two back here off And then you're going to want to pay attention to the paddle orientation. As you so you can see the ribs here and there's a thick part. The thick part is what comes in contact with the ground. So the thick part you're going to want on the scraper bar side. All right, so we'll take the center ones off now. Now, on the center, there's these metal inserts. You're going to want to make sure you pull those out and put them in the new paddle. They help you prevent from tightening the bolts too tight and crushing the paddle. We'll check the thick part goes to the bottom or towards you on the will be towards you on the top so when the paddle rolls around 
That's what hits the scraper bar. So we'll put the inserts in. Down here. We'll put them in, just tap the insert down. Just like so. Real nice like. Now the hard part. So the drive side, the drive belts over here, which is why this sticks out which gives you not a lot of room right here to put the bolts and the nuts on. So I start on this side since it's the hardest part. And this is where the tape comes in. Take a little bit of tape. Rip off a small piece. Take your nut. That goes in the wrench. And tape. The opening of the wrench in the top side so it holds the nut in. And then you can put there you go. So we got it started, it's not tight. Then we'll do the other one, which you should be able to get with your finger. You want to just finger tight on this side till you get the other ones in. Put the center ones in. Finger tight. Same thing on this side. This side has more room.
So we got the first we got the first paddle on. Bolts are loose. They're just finger tight. Now we'll take the other paddle off. Two left. All the bolts. Don't forget about your two inserts. Pull those out. Grab the inserts. Tap them. Tap them in. So like the last one, thick part will go towards you, so when it goes down, the thick part goes against the scraper. And the top one, finger tight, just like the other side. Your tape, cover the one side, stick your nut in there, hold your nut. You have your drill. Try to not. Try not to move your machine. All right. 
right, so we got those started. Get the center put back in. Finger tight. Get the top one on. Finger tight. Bottom one in. So now we got it. We get all the bolts in, all the hardware's back on, it's all loose. So we'll start in the middle, we'll tighten these two, tighten these two, then we'll go over here and tighten these. Over here. Roll it. Get the other two. These two on the other side. <clears throat> and there you got it. New paddles. This side over here is the hardest to slide. That one there, and that one there. It doesn't give you a lot of room to get them nuts on. On to the scraper bar. So the scraper bar, you have this bolt here. It's a through bolt. This through bolt here, and one spring there, and one spring here. There's a little hook right there that that spring goes in on each side, which you can just easily grab that and unhook it. Scraper bar. Nine sixteen socket on the outside.
and a half inch wrench. So the scraper bar you got these two springs you just transfer from that one to this one and put that back on so you might be able to see the tabs better. This tab right here, you can see the hole where the spring goes through. So you put the three bolts in, nut on, it's loose, we'll put the, put the spring back on on each side, try to do this under the camera, there we go, so now we'll snug up these bolts Just like that, check movement, looks good, and there we go, we got a brand new paddle, brand new scraper, we're ready for some snow, well I hope you learned something, uh, cause that's what trying to do here help people out tips and tricks if you found a better way put it down in the comments below i hope you learned something i hope you stick around we'll see you on the next project or adventure who knows see you then